Standard. Five years on that Enterprise, all you men in one close quarter of a ship. How come you never pulled over and stopped at a cat house? <laughs> we didn't do all the stories, you know. They were episodes, right? And we just didn't uh, show you the cat house episode. <laughs> Now, before Star Trek, you were just uh, an actor doing bit parts and uh, various projects, and all of a sudden you're on this hit TV show, and you're part of this uh, incredible phenomenon, cartoons, uh, action figures, uh, uh, conventions. How did you learn to handle such a huge success? Well, it didn't come right after, the, immediately after. The, it took a long, long time. So we rather grew into being this, what you call, a cult uh, figure. Uh, the... Uh, the uh, figures, the dolls, started coming uh, at way after cancellation. But, you know, many, many women have called me a doll, but now I can say, factually, you're quite correct. I am a doll. Except you're anatomically correct. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in one episode, you got to run around with a sword with no shirt on. How come Chekhov never got to run around without a shirt? I don't know. I think, um, uh, well, I think, frankly, if you saw his, sh his uh, chest, you'd want to keep the shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you something that bothers me about Star Trek. Now, every time there's a problem, who beams down to the planet? Kirk, Spock, McCoy. The captain, first officer, chief medical officer. What kind of crap is that? You ever see, like, the chief of police, the mayor, and the surgeon general bust a crack house? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. They should have had the um, helmsman going down there, uh, don't you think, uh, rather than chief of police? I mean, why endanger the whole ship by having the chief of police and, uh, and the mayor down there? You're absolutely right, Sock. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us honestly, how do you feel about the new crew taking over the Star Trek movies? We shall see. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Your basic contribution to Star Trek was sitting on the helm and saying, I, sir, every couple episodes. Who the hell would want to read a book about that? You better check it out before you make bald faced statements like that. Now, you'd be privy to this kind of information, George, so let me ask you. Now, for the entire five years that Kirk, Spock, and McCoy were in space, none of them developed any kind of ongoing heterosexual relationship. Tell me, were these guys going back to the captain's quarters and playing hide the phaser? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the show. What kind of show do you have here? <laughs> well, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Takai, for uh, being on our show. It was a real pleasure, and good luck with your book, uh, To the Stars. To the Stars, Mr. Sulu. Good chatting with you. Yeah! Well, yeah. There There's Mr. Sulu. Sulu. Thanks for being